Hi, welcome to my channel. Hey, I'm Kenny. Football. Hey, yeah. If you're new here, my name is Cedric. I'm an actor, a filmmaker, a screenwriter, and a YouTuber. Recording this from Albuquerque, New Mexico, which I'll explain a little bit more about later. But that's why things look a little bit different than normal for my channel. Hope you can forgive me for that. This has been a highly requested video, and I've been very, very excited to check it out. I apologize, it's taken me a little bit. I've been very, very busy and haven't been able to get around to it and be able to give it the time it deserves. But today is that day, so let's do it. Before we do it though, I just want to take a quick moment and say thank you to my patrons on Patreon. Thank you so much for your support, for uh, helping me with my career and helping me continue to chase this and just being such solid rocks throughout everything. There's so much change and kind of chaos in this life and y'all support is great. It means I can go get a cup of coffee, which I'm going to do after, uh, after I do this reaction. I'm going to go sit down and maybe just read a book for a little bit. It's gonna be really nice. I'm excited about this. I also want to say thank you to all of you who have watched The Coroner's Assistant, and if you haven't, please do so. It is on YouTube, all four episodes of season one. They're all 15, 20 minutes a piece, so really easy to watch, and we would absolutely love your support. This show was Astra nominated for Best Writing on a Streaming Comedy Series and Best Period Costumes, and although uh, The Bear took Best Writing and uh, The Crown took Best Period Costumes, um, just the fact that we're even up against such incredible shows was amazing, and Indie Shorts Magazine named The Corners Assistant Best Web Series of 2023. So that is an amazing achievement, and I'm so proud of this show and everybody involved, and we really want to do a season two, so we need people to watch it. So please check it out here on YouTube, The Corners Assistant, streaming for free. Why am I in New Mexico? That's, that's a very good question. Why do I have this facial hair? It's also a very good question. I'm currently playing Shakespeare in the musical Something Rotten. If you live anywhere near Albuquerque, please come check this out. I've been having a great time exploring Albuquerque and Santa Fe and New Mexico in general, but we only have a few shows left. So if you're anywhere near Albuquerque, please come see it. Audiences have been loving this hilarious musical. I've been loving playing Shakespeare. This cast is incredible. Uh, everybody's just been so sweet and so welcoming as I've come in to do this show and I love it and if you love anything about the Renaissance or if you love theater or if you love laughing please come check this show out it is awesome we're playing at the Albuquerque Little Theater until February 11th uh, I have more stuff coming up that I will be announcing soon but that's the current project and I love it and I would I've met a few of you at the show who have been able to make it and that's been great. I always love meeting uh, subscribers and, and fans and people that uh, have been able to come see things. And so please, if you live anywhere nearby, please come check it out. It's been great and I love it. And I hope you love it too, if you're here All right, speaking of things we love, Dimash and Placido Domingo. Pretty great. I hope I didn't, I've never, I don't think I've ever actually heard his name said out loud, but Two incredible singers. Let's check this out. This is the Pearl Fisher's duet, A Fond du Temple's Song. I probably butchered that. Sorry, France. <laughs> Let's check this out. This is gonna be amazing, I have no doubt. Oh, wow. Okay, great moment to pause, just right off the top. Gorgeous strings that have this real depth to them, this real earthiness to them, that kind of set us up for these low resonant tones that both of them are starting in. So we get these really nice, powerful strings across the bow. And then, yeah, I thought we would get a little bit more set up, but then Dimash comes right in. And I gotta say, he looks a little bit different. He looks a little bit um, stronger, more firm. Maybe it's just because, you know, we're both getting older. But uh, cheekbones, very uh, <laughs> defined. I don't know what that is. But what that kind of pointed out to me is, is 
it kind of um, emphasizes his technique. Very open. Very, very, very tall approach to that. Very open, nice, not really pushing a lot through, letting it not not flow out. It's not light necessarily, but there's a strength to it that kind of feels effortless. And then as he starts to get up, you hear a little bit more of that. You can hear it goes from back here to more in the middle part of his range. And then Placido comes in and, and it is amazing to see these two generations of of the world's like greatest singers, right? Sharing the stage and, and hearing the youth in one voice and the age in the other, but just gorgeous techniques. And when their voices come together, there is this kind of generational feel that it has to it. So, um, and, and also, you know, talking about temples, there's, there's a sort of sacred, I hate to keep using the word resonance, but a sacred resonance to it that's just gorgeous. Nice harp. Sorry, we gotta go back and listen to this. Listen to how, you can actually watch it. Listen to how Placido's really listening to it, crescendoing with the orchestra. The crowd is kneeling. <laughs> Dimash does it on his part too. They're starting to really listen into it. And then as they come in, they turn toward each other. They're listening to each other so carefully and just exchanging these harmonies and going back and forth. And it, what I, was, I think what I was trying to say earlier with the two generations that I find so fascinating about this is, it almost feels or sounds to an extent like one voice. There's a feeling of, um, you know, the, uh, the older version of the younger person or the younger version of the older person. I, I mean, they just, their voices blend so well together that it, they're just exchanging it and it feels like one voice and their placements too. You can hear that they've really focused on, we're going to place everything together. Sometimes it's interesting with duets to hear those different timbres coming together. But the gorgeous thing about this is how similar the two voices are just highlights how gorgeous the technique is, how beautiful that, that depth to their voices is. You know, it's not like a lot of pop vocals are very up here. It's very far replacement. Right, but they're both so rich in form back here, even as they're going up. And you hear Dimash at one point as he goes, ah, da, 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 da. he like retreats with it, pulls back on the power, which in a duet is nice because it sets him up to hand it off to Placido Domingo, right? So they're just, they're listening to each other, they're respecting each other, and it's just great to see. Let's listen to this crescendo into the duet section again. Awesome. Yes! Dimash put it a little bit forward. Da, 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 da. I know those weren't exactly the right notes, but he has that nice melodic descending while Placido kind of holds down the foundation. Listen to how he takes it from ha, da, all back here to ha, ooh, <laughs> sorry, it's still morning here and I had a show last night. Ha, da, 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 da. Whatever the notes are, 
comes a lot more forward in it because he's coming up over the top. So instead of when he's under, when he's in his lower range, he can approach it from the back. Ta -ta, versus when he's coming up, you have to come up over the note. You don't want to come up into it. You want to come up over. <laughs> Coming up over and attacking from on top of the note rather than scooping up under it while well, Placido's underneath so he's able to sit right down there so you hear that different emplacement and that textural difference where we've had the same textures throughout it creates this really beautiful feeling almost like flowing water right over the top of it and again that sacred aspect that they're talking about the goddess who has come down among us there's this feeling of um of a choir that's just these two guys but that difference there and, and again you know, you're talking about coming down among us that harmony over the top is descending down right coming down to us so there's some really really beautiful um cohesion between the lyrics and and the uh, the music that's been written there and they're both aware of what their place in telling that story is <laughs> Gorgeous. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, listen to the two vowels there. So Placido's lower and he's da, 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 versus Dimash. Ba, da, da. But the, the difference in where those come because Dimash is doing a little bit more of a mix while Placido's just down full chest voice. And it's really, really tight. There's a feeling of, um, how would I describe that? There's a low brass and there's a trumpet, right? <laughs> and that, that's, those are the two sounds we're hearing coming out. But Dimash is kind of taking those higher parts and playing with the different sounds that are coming out while Placido is, is laying down this gorgeous, full foundation. And it does make sense to have the legend with Placido just being this, I'm at the bottom. I'm at the, you know, I'm the strong, strong foundation for this whole thing. I am the foundation to an extent. And of course, it's my understanding that he's one of Dimash's heroes, right? So I am the foundation upon which you know, you were able to kind of step forward. I helped push this genre forward. And then Dimash coming up over the top as the young gun, as the, as the upcoming legend, as the one who will be that someday. There's this respect that they have for each other, even in, within the arrangement that is, they're, they're listening, they're respecting each other, and they're both fulfilling their parts and by doing so, lifting the other up. I just, you can hear the respect that they have for themselves, for the music, for their genre, for their art. It's gorgeous. Nice. Love, love, brass. Gorgeous pull back there. Yeah. Ah. God, just listen to how together they are. I mean, every single breath, every attack, every release, Everything is together with the orchestra. I mean, obviously you rehearse, but it's just this intentionality of technique and listening to each other. And, and I keep saying respect, but 
it's more than respect, it's this love for the music and for what they're doing together. Oh, what a gift this is to us to be able to hear. Just listen to the, the, the beauty of this chorus and listen to how every breath is together, how they're setting each other up. If Dimash needs a breath because of where his melody is going, the Placida holds it out and vice versa. Just, I mean, it's this is the duet of duets, right? This is stunning. No, don't, don't, don't stop. We're gonna go back and listen to this. Look at how, um, so this is, this is a performing thing. When, especially when you're belting that hard and you've got the conductor next to you, you don't, you need something to cut you off. So look how, because Dimash is a little bit more forward and because he's got the higher bit, look how Placido just takes his little bit of a cue. It's a subtle thing, but he takes the cue on the cutoff from Dimash going, when he clenches his hands, that's the cutoff sign. So they all know that. And I bet if we looked at the conductor that he's, watching next to them and then it's when he sees those hands start to go so there's that cut off together but look at Dimash as he has to jump up to this harmony look at how he kind of firms up readies his diaphragm attacks it and both of them hit it so beautifully so cleanly it, this is uh so so great and the thing i love is they cut to because i think this is has something to do with some sort of competition show that they were judges for um, when you look at these other judges or hosts or whoever these folks are, I recognize several of them, but their names aren't coming to mind. The respect that each of them have in their eyes. Some are smiling, some are, are completely, you know, looks like nothing's happening, but look in their eyes. All of them are laser focused and in such deep, remarkable admiration for what they're listening to and what they're seeing. This is, I love this. I love this so much. I just love it. <laughs> See it? Then the hands together. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful orchestra as well. The orchestra was amazing on that. With all the strings. I'm a sucker for strings. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was good, wasn't it? I, I don't know what more to add. It's just one of those where you, you watch something and, and you're so blown away by the power of music, by the beauty of music, by the power of art and artists and musicians and storytellers. And as you look at generations there, I mean, just what a gift to be able to have the two of them. You know, it's like, I don't know if I'll ever get to work with Carol Burnett. Uh, you know, it's, it's it feels like that, like you're looking at one legend and uh, for Dimash to be able to step up and do that and, and be seen as an equal and, and um, you know, share that moment must have been so powerful for both of them. And I think you see that love. And, and again, that, the word respect keeps coming back to mind. But to take on this song and, and with this gorgeous orchestra and be able to share this moment and share it with us and uh, share this gorgeous technique and beautiful voices and what a gift, what a gift that is. So I hope I was able to contribute something to it, but if not, I hope you enjoyed watching anyway and just watching me enjoy these, these two stunning, stunning artists and the full, you know, all the artists in the orchestra and just this beautiful example of the power of art and music. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please be well, drink lots of water, fix your postures, 
And until next time, I already said it, but I'll say it again, be well.